Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Just want to stop by and give you another vlog. Um, just a bit of a quickie one today. Um, tonight actually. It's almost midnight here. Um, just a couple updates from my previous vlog in July. Um, some CD info, upcoming CDs I'm interested in, and maybe some concert updates. I don't have any concerts currently confirmed coming up, but maybe some um, details from ones I've seen since my last general updates and stuff vlog from July. Um, since that vlog, I was able to go to The Voice Tour in Milwaukee, and I got to see the show. It was incredible. We had um, seventh row on the right side. Um, won the tickets from a contest online back at the beginning of June and I didn't know where we were sitting until I picked up the tickets at Will Call so I was really excited that night when we had 7th row on the floor. It was actually more like 4th I think because they didn't have like the first 3 rows in the side sections but um, got to one of my probably my favorite moment of the whole show is actually during um, we are never ever getting back together. All the girls did a cover of that Taylor Swift song, and as you know, I lo I love Taylor Swift. But um, during that song, all the girls like came out to sing it, and halfway through, the guys came out, and Will Champlin, the the person who I was really excited to see on that tour, um, all the guys came out in the crowd, and Will came out on our side, and I got to hold hands from, got to hold hands with him for a couple seconds during that song. So it was really awesome. I was really excited about that. Um, one of my other favorites, Tessan Chin from Will's season, who won that season, was not there. She was in Jamaica that night performing at a, a festival, I believe. And she wasn't in St. Louis the next night, so I was kind of bummed. Well, I was really bummed I didn't get to see her. Um, the show was fantastic. I love seeing Christina Grimmie and Josh Kaufman as well. After the show, I hung out with two of my friends outside the venue to wait for all the contestants to come outside. And they all did. We all got to see them leave the venue and hop onto the buses, but um, only three people came out. At, well... I think four did, but we didn't. We only got to meet three of them. But um, trying to think, it was that we didn't have to wait too too long, which was great. But um, trying to, I blanked out for a second there. But I gotta look on the phone here real quick because I can't remember all of a sudden for some reason. But, um, it'll just be a second. Got to pull it up on my phone here. Let's see. My albums. Okay. Fun, fun, fun. We got to meet, um, the first person we met, I believe, was, um, why isn't she not listed in here? Kristen Merlin. She was very sweet. She was nice to hang out with for a couple minutes. And then we met um, Jake Worthington. He was very nice too. And I was really hoping to meet um, old Tess Ann, but obviously she wasn't there. And Josh Kaufman and Christina Grimmie, but they didn't come back from the buses. And we actually saw Josh before the show. We were sitting, eating dinner at the restaurant across the street from the venue and he walked past the window when we were sitting right by the window but we didn't run after him just give him some personal time to himself I guess but the person who I really wanted to meet that night I did get to meet so I'm really excited I got to meet Will Champlin and I'm super stoked about that but I was able to give him his Rainbow Loom gift that I, I, I made for him. He's actually holding it. But, um, I don't know if I can get that to focus at all. But all these pictures are on my Facebook if you haven't seen them yet. It was a really fantastic show. I had a fun time wa watching the show and then meeting a couple of the contestants. So hopefully one day I can 
see Tessa in live, meet her, and also meet Josh and Christina as well. Also, just over a week ago, I went to my first concert at the Wisconsin State Fair. I got to see Lady Antebellum and Christian Bush of Sugarland open. Fantastic, fantastic show. I had a great time seeing them there. It was my sixth time seeing Lady Antebellum. And unfortunately there wasn't a meet and greet, so I still have not gotten a meet and greet with them. No pictures yet. But I'm hoping the next time I see them, I will finally get to meet them and there will be a meet and greet for the show. The festivals and fairs for Lady Antebellum this summer don't seem to have any meet and greets, which is really weird. But it was a really great show. I had a lot of fun and got some really decent pictures, even for sitting where we were sitting. But I'll try to get one there. But we were practically almost centered, just a little bit off to the left. But it was a really great show. I had a lot of fun and acoustic hello world. Oh my goodness, incredible. Anyways, to get on to the to the C D info, I got my little chart up on my laptop here, but um Colton Dixon's album Anchor is out on Tuesday. I can't wait. I'm super excited for that. Um since my last updates vlog, O Town's album has moved from the third to the twenty fourth. They had to bump it back three weeks. Not sure exactly why, but they did post a very funny video the day that they announced they were bumping it back. So if you haven't seen that funny video, you need to check it out. Okay, and then next would be Lainey and Abilum's al new album, 747, is coming out on September 30th. And then probably the newest news I have right now is a couple of Friday, I believe, for Georgia Line was on Good Morning America, and they announced that their new album, their second sophomore album, is coming out on October 14th, and it is called Anything Goes. Excited for that album, too. Um, really, really love for Georgia Line, and I hope I get to see them again soon. It's been a while. I've only... I've seen them twice so far, but the first time I don't really get to count it because I didn't actually visibly see them during their set when they opened for Luke Bryan at the Rush last year, but... Got to see him at CMA Fest for a little bit last year. But this is the album cover. And then we got Little Big Town's album Painkillers coming out on October 21st. I don't think we had the release date when I did my last video. And then I have three more and they're all TBA dates and titles. Carrie Underwood's supposed to have a new album out this fall. I believe she's started recording since my last video blog. Um, Taylor Swift, but we should obviously get some news about that tomorrow. And then um, David Cook. Um, my last vlog, I mentioned that on his official website, he they had mentioned recently that we're supposed to have new music by the end of the summer. Which I'm guessing is a single because I heard rumor that the album is not coming out until next year. So I have tentatively put his album down for winter 2015. Hopefully it comes in the first quarter of the year because if it gets beyond the end of June, we're looking at a span of four years since the last album because... This Loud Morning came out in 2011, so I'm pretty sure we're, you know, by the end of the year it'll be three and a half years. But other than that, um, no new album news that I'm aware of, no artists that I'm a fan of that have announced anything else yet. Um, still haven't been able to find a physical copy of the Essential in Sync album in stores anywhere, so I'm probably going to have to buy it online because I prefer physical copies over digital. Um, I think that is it. And as I said in my other vlog I just filmed for Taylor's live stream, I should have another video about that coming up tomorrow or on Tuesday when I'm off. So, 
I should hopefully have another vlog coming this week. So, I think that's about it for now. I've seen so a lot in this video and um a lot in the last one. I don't know why. I'm apparently trying to fill space while I'm thinking of the next thing to say. But anyways, until my next vlog, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great night, and I'll see you soon. Love, love, love.